Thank you for introduction. Uh, hi everyone. Uh, my name is Kyung Sop Shim. Uh, I was a former postdoc at Sandia National Labs. Uh, what I'm going to talk about today is uh, detailed measurement of ignition and combustion process of spray A flames using this high speed formaldehyde uh, planar laser induced fluorescence flip diagnostics uh, coupled with high speed line of sight shrine imaging. Co-authors uh, associated with this project presented in this title slide. So by myself, uh, now Mas and Lucas Wise, Lyle Pickett, and Scott Kin. I also like to mention that this experiment work uh, has been conducted at Sandia National Lab and funded by uh, U.S. Department of Energy. For CI engines, understanding low temperature reactions is important to predict it high temperature ignition and combustion in spray flames. Low temperature reactions take place between the fuel breakdown and high temperature ignitions after a liquid hydrocarbon fuel is injected into the engines. So we used formaldehyde as a marker of this low temperature reactions. As an example shown on the right, which is our uh, fee, uh, work, we show that formaldehyde generated at around 190 microsecond and it shoot to the head of jet and second stage ignition is observed at 390 microseconds. So these uh, formaldehyde snapshots here are single measurement which means we took a multiple injections and averaged them into a single uh, time here. So we might miss a key information on this low temperature ignition process. There is also need to validate this reaction mechanism and CFD simulations because this uh, low temperature chemistry becomes much more complex and differs at high temperature when they use this reduced or detailed mechanism into this uh, CFD simulations. So this motivates us to apply this high speed flip measurement into this spray A conditions. So as I mentioned, a lot of effort has been on this CFT simulations using DNS or LES. Uh, these high fidelity simulations found the significant effect of cool flame on this ignition. The damp error at Sandia, uh, shown on the right corner, he showed how this first stage ignition start in a fuel limb mixtures. Then this formaldehyde is quickly transferred through a broad range of mixtures in a turbulent cool flame waves. Finally, this leads to second stage ignition in this broad range of mixtures as shown in this plot. So now we have new plate capability and opportunity to investigate this complex process of low to high temperature ignition and evaluate the CFD simulations that I just discussed in this slide. Okay, content. So I will uh, briefly talk about the experiment setup and conditions in the next slide. Then I will give you a information about this optical setup for this simultaneous 50 kilos, uh, 355 nanometer excitation and Schwein imaging. Then I will uh, show you a high speed uh, movies at uh, various temperatures, then uh, discuss about this global combustion characteristics using a IXD plots and first and second stage ignition delay times and flame uh, lift up lengths as a function of ambient temperatures. Then I will summarize my talk. So we used Sandia. Uh, constant volume prevent combustion vessel which can provide well-defined uh, ambient conditions with spark ignited premixed uh, combustions of acetylene hydrogen oxygen and nitrogen for our uh, spray experiments our experimental conditions are shown in this uh, table and we performed the spray combustion experiment under ECN uh, spray A conditions with uh, temperature variations from 800 Kelvin to uh, 1018 Kelvin. So we used a new spray A injector uh, named as a spray A3. Uh, this new injector has 
94 micrometer orifice and K factor of 3.5. Discharge coefficient and mass flow rate were measured using a HDA mobile. So you can find this corresponding numbers here. Basically, spray A3 injector is a piezo injector capable of this short and multiple injections for the future studies. So right figure uh, shows this spray A3 injector and orifice and how this injector is mounted onto this combustion vessel. So we have this uh, high-speed burst burst mode lasers, a third harmonic of NDR lasers at uh, 355 nanometers. So we get 70 milliliter per burst at 50 uh, kilohertz. A burst contains uh, 300 sequential images. So we imaged our formaldehyde uh, fluorescence signals using a high-speed CMOS camera without an intensifier. So formaldehyde system is uh, highlighted by this blue uh, color on the right figures, as uh, well as this uh, Schrodinger uh, LED light is indicated by the red color. So we have dynamic uh, background subtractions because of the uh, the camera at twice the razor's repetition rate. So we can use those images in between for dynamic uh, corrections. So we have a razor energy distribution corrections where we use this heated uh, phonolin vapor and photodiode monitorings. Uh, here's an example of razor uh, energy distribution at the top. Uh, on the bottom, the intensity count along the jet axis. So you can see that uh, this major energies is a function of time and space. So then at the same time, uh, Schrodinger at uh, 100 kilowatts was taken with this modified uh, G-type uh, light setups. So we can detect jet and uh, flame boundaries and also uh, obtain this ignition and or lift up length information. Okay, let's take a look at this example movie of a high speed flip on the right panel and Schrodinger images on the left panel uh, for this endodecane uh, flames at the spray A conditions 900 Kelvin and 15% oxygen. So spray is injected from this origin uh, at time zero. And what I want you to focus on is that's where this formula is formed and how they propagate uh, and how they consume at this high temperature ignitions. So first, uh, formaldehyde appears in this uh, mixing layers as shown in here in the jet periphery, then propagate into the head of jet very quickly, uh, reaching this maximum intensity uh, in the core regions, then is followed by uh, this clear as formaldehyde consumptions at this uh, high temperature uh, second stage ignitions. This will be discussed in more detail in the following slide. At the lateral timings, uh, spray is formed this classical vortex structures with this poorly aromatic hydrocarbons uh, signals downstream and flames uh, eventually stabilize and reaches this quasi steady uh, states. It is clear this upstream uh, LI pockets is coming from this formaldehyde, and uh, well as this downstream signals is coming from this polyaromatics and so on. There's a lot of interesting uh, features and structures revealed by this uh, high speed uh, measurement here. So in this slide, we have same image configurations as for this previous slide, but at lower temperature of 800 kelvins. So because of longer uh, ignition delay times, the mixing state of this penetrating jet prior to ignition events at these conditions is significantly less fuel reach when compared to spray A case at 900 kelvin, as I just showed. So you might also notice that it was much more obvious that the formaldehyde formation initiate in this mixing layer 
here then it transport through this wide range of mixtures across the jet uh, prior to high temperature ignitions. I also want to mention that at this low temperature case, there is no pH formed within our laser seat, which contrasts to 900 Kelvin case. Okay, on the middle, uh, this uh, captured movies from the uh, 900 Kelvin case uh, during this high temperature ignitions. So consumption of the formaldehyde begins around like 30 millimeter and ally pockets in the spray head is consumed almost back to uh, 25 millimeter downstream. So we quantify the changes in this ally signals at the specific locations indicated by this dashed line here. And which is plotted in the right figures along this radial distance for uh, different timings. So if you look at this near uh, the center line where this equivalent ratio reach and this consumption uh, process is slower and the signal is decreased only to 32%. But in the periphery uh, with the renal mixtures, this reduction almost reached to 80%. So this plot is nicely aligned with them's uh, conceptual model showing the left uh, figures. So another interesting feature revealed by this uh, high-speed measurement is large-scale alloy pocket formation and structure separation and consumptions. On the top, uh, there's our three large scale alloy uh, pockets, uh, the formaldehyde indicated by this red uh, arrows. And this travel downstream and two upstream pockets have merged together while this downstream one is separated and reduced intensity as it moves downstream is finally uh, disappear as shown in these figures. We argue that this large scale ally pockets is nicely uh, mark this field which partially premixed the flames of this high temperature reactions. And also uh, the signal found in the downstream is coming from this three to four wings poorly automatic hydrocarbons. This slide shows radially integrated LF intensity, named as IXD plot. So what you are seeing from this first column at 800 Kelvin is formaldehyde forms at 20 millimeter at 0.4 uh, millisecond. Its size and intensity grows until the second stage uh, ignition takes place, place, as shown in here. At higher temperature of 850 Kelvin, so you can see that a clear a decrease observed in this formaldehyde intensity at around like 35 millimeter downstream uh, when a second stage ignition takes place. Similar to uh, 850 Kelvin, there is a still gap between this formaldehyde and pH at 900 Kelvin, but this division disappears at higher temperature as shown in here. You can see this low temperature combustion recession after the end of injection around 3.5 milliseconds. So this white, the formaldehyde inception line moves quickly to the injector tip after the end of injection. It is also interesting to look at this quasi steady state flip images for various temperature as you shown on the right. Now, these are ensemble averaged over the steady state period for multiple injections. Schrodinger and OH star boundaries are superimposed uh, into these images to help interpretation on where this jet and flames are located at. So if you increase your ambient temperatures, this formaldehyde and uh, pH regimes moves closer to the injector tip uh, as expected. Again, the separation uh, between this formaldehyde and pH is clearly disappearing uh, with increasing temperatures. And this formaldehyde uh, signal uh, is confined to spray core between this OH star boundaries. So another interesting thing is that this asymmetry uh, structure in this formaldehyde regions, uh, upper 
part of the inception uh, location uh, closer to the injector is longer than the lower part of the uh, formaldehyde uh, due to this uh, temperature uh, sterification inside the vessel. So this slide uh, shows the effect of the ambient temperatures on the ignition process for both spray A3 and spray A injectors. So you can see that this ignition delay times decrease with ambient temperatures and first stage ignition delay times has less sensitivity on the temperatures than for second stage ignitions. In general, uh, there is a good agreement between the spray A3 and spray A injectors. So on the left corner here, or you can see a also good agreement between these two injectors regarding this flame lift of length measurement, even though a spray A3 injectors has a larger orifice and higher uh, discharge coefficient. Okay, in summary, uh, we presented for the first time this detailed measurement of low and high temperature ignition process in this high pressure spray flames using this high speed laser diagnostics. So our combined is formaldehyde uh, plate and Schrodinger diagnostics discovered very interesting phenomena such as cool flame formation and propagation and high temperature ignition and consumption of formaldehyde and polyaromatic hydrocarbon formation of the spray A flames under high pressures. Yeah, this is all I have uh, for today. Uh, watch this movie and thank you for your uh, attentions.